I've played enough terrifying hellscapes in this game to know that this seems fishy, right? I found another AK-47 and a friend's house. Yeah, I'm sure he's not gonna die spontaneously. I'm gonna get jumped by something. Okay, he died. What am I getting jumped by? Oh, of course. What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red. That game where the developers worked tirelessly for years on end to release a monumental game-changing update, which people played for about a day before returning to the absolute nonsense the players have been putting on the workshop. Like, I know I should feel bad, but at the same time, this is art. Now some of you guys might remember that a little while ago, I made a couple episodes on a series of levels called Psychiatric Hospital, and they were really good. Apparently this is a continuation of that story? Maybe a spin-off? It's called Psychiatric Hospital, Mike's Story. Now, who is Mike? What is he doing in this hospital? Why are there a dozen microwaves in front of me right now? I don't really know. That's what we're gonna figure out through careful interpretation of our environment. I've already deduced that this is some kind of two-man microwave operation. It looks like one sits here and smokes all day while the other gently tases himself. I'm not gonna judge people on their hobbies, but at the same time, if you sit here watching a heart attack's worth of Hungry Man dinners warm up while pulsing voltage through your body, you probably deserve to be locked up in the loony bin. That is gonna be a very warm orange by the time everything is said and done. I would imagine that this is the button that operates all of the microwaves. Should I have pressed that without any kind of testicle protection? I feel like I'm being sterilized as we speak. How about we just turn that off? <laughs> this is a really weird cell. Oh, Mike is probably some kind of guard or orderly, maybe? Y you know what I mean? I, I probably work here, which means I could just come and go as I please. Uh, hello, patient. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna help you. Oh, you just got helped by my colleague. <laughs> no, no, Frank, Frank, we really don't want the patients rolling around in fire. This is the very top of the training manual. <laughs> oh, come on. I am gonna get in so much trouble. I'm also apparently deed. You deed. Listen, at first I thought I was Mike. But I'm thinking we probably work on them not hearing the voices that say kill, kill, never stop, and then we'll get to grammar. Spelling isn't exactly the top priority around here. Neither is going to be saving the cafeteria because this place is toast. Let's just try to keep our buns nice and cool. Oh, okay. Employees only. I can go back here. Wherever here is. Uh, what is this like an elevator shaft? Wouldn't I just press a button to call up the elevator? I don't think jumping down it is a good idea. Uh. Am I still falling? What? Oh, oh, weird. So are we like, oh, we're underwater. I've never seen something like that before. I'm gonna hope that this floor flooded from rainwater and not sewage. It's like the lunch lady always said, the only thing nuttier around here than the patients are their poop. <gasps> I liked her, she was a lot of fun. It's a real shame that she's jerky now. We need a red key. I don't suppose I have one on me because I work here. No, that'd be too easy. All right then. This is kind of creepy. Why am I in a sewer all of a sudden? Nothing's gonna jump out at me, is it? I'm just trying to get a job done here, guys. Like, I'm not exactly making a whole lot of money. There's an outhouse down here. Okay, that's a good sign. I don't think they would have an outhouse in a sewer, right? Usually wouldn't be the case. Red key, red key, oh, button. Light? Hey, hey, okay, I'll take lights. At least now it's a whole lot easier for me to see how screwed I am. <laughs> there is no red key here. I've checked everywhere, it's a dead end. Like, clearly, I need a red key. It's not letting me through that door. I can't swim. There's no way I can climb up a waterfall. I don't suppose the electricity brought down some kind of elevator. That would really help a whole lot. No. We have a ladder, but the problem with that is... 
paint the town red and ladders don't really mix. Uh, Frank, are you still up there? Don't worry about the patients, okay? They're already screwed. Just throw it on a rope or, or get lassie. I don't know. We might be on to something here. Yeah, okay, the water is draining. That's really interesting. I thought I had missed a key or the game was broken or something like that because I couldn't get forward and Frank was not going to help. But eventually, after quite a while, the water drained and now we can get further down. So what's going on down here? I don't really want to take the crowbar. I feel like this lantern is coming in super handy. Okay, well, the water's still down here. What do we have down here? Oh, we now need a yellow key. I don't know if I can squeeze through here. Oh, my body does not like that at all. I'm sure whatever sewer rave is happening behind that door is super interesting, but I'm gonna avoid any tunnels that try to spaghettify me. I, I think we'll just use the stairs. <laughs> this seems far more convenient. I'm surprised we haven't run into anyone down here. It's real quiet. That's weird. Oh! Speak of the devil, who are you? And I can't get through. There has to be a way through, but I don't know who that is. It doesn't look like anybody I work with. That's not you, is it, Frank? Can I maybe... Oh! That worked. Oh, I actually managed to squeak into the tunnel. I don't know how. I, I tried so much before and it didn't work. Holy crap. Hi, hi, hi. Shocky stick. I don't know what that was. Oh, oh god, my eyes. Uh, yellow key, yellow key, yes please. <gasps> open, open. There aren't more of those under the water, are there? <gasps> it was like gray and, and kind of gross looking and then, oh, it was you guys. Okay. Uh, maybe these ones are friendly? Are you guys friendly? You're not friendly. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, hmm. That chalky stick did not last nearly long enough. We got problems. Problems! Anything useful over here? Can I not get through here? Okay, good. Uh, bad, bad. No, no, I don't actually want to be in here. Undo, un undo! I want my undo! No, that's mulligan. Mulligan, okay, good. Anything in here? Oh my god, why is every room empty? Why are all the rooms empty? Please, I know I'm bouncing around like a moron. Don't punch my taint, please. Okay, going in here. Hi, running, not running, crouching, crouching. Blue key, do not have that. Going over here, crouching some more. Pull, elevator, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like an elevator. I was gonna say, if this is garbage disposal, I'm screwed. Frank, help. There are a bunch of people downstairs that could use a bashing! Ah, no! No! No, don't! Don't! Keep going! Keep going, elevator! Keep going! Hi! Don't mind me, I'm just mating with a box. I don't have anything to hurt you with. Are we cool? I don't think we're cool. 276 kicks later, I believe this is where we say goodbye, Mr. Box. It's been real. Please don't call me. Oh, come on. What are the odds I can, like, stealth my way underwater? This is not very stealthy. Please don't hear my balls dragging on the ground. <gasps> Frank! 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 Get the hell over here, Frank! Frank! <laughs> Son of a... No, no, okay, you know what? No, I don't have red keys. Don't have red keys. I do have just enough height to clear this, though. And apparently you do too. Oh, come on. Oh, hi. I'm just gonna keep running. Just gonna keep running. I don't wanna fight people. I don't wanna kick at anyone anymore. I want, hey. Hey, I know this place. Yeah, there are weapons over here. Weapons, weapon, there we go. Bring it. I got the shocky stick. So what were you guys doing down here? It's strange that there's like a, a second operation. They clearly weren't my coworkers, were they? Nobody, no, they're not following me. Okay. Uh, is, I don't get it. Can't see anything, that's the problem. Please don't kill me. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna consider this the end of the level. I don't know what the point was. I don't know why stuff doesn't work, but we're gonna move on to the next chapter in this story.
Psychiatric Hospital, Mike's Story, Chapter 2, and hopefully this time around it won't be the reincarnation of the Water Temple. It looks like I managed to find my way out. Maybe not, actually? I could be even further underground. These kind of look like the people that I was hurting. They don't quite look like Frank. I don't suppose I can... Okay. Uh, you're in a lot of footsteps. I'll take this with me. Not seeing any lights, blue door. Okay. Weird. Yeah, I know I need a blue key, but I can't do anything over here. I could probably hit you through the... No, can't hit you through the wall. <laughs> so I'm guessing I am going to break into the vent and go this way. All right, then. This is interesting. Finding our way back up a little bit, and... Oh, oh, oh. Sec ver. I don't know what that means. Is this some kind of SCP facility? Because that's the vibes that it's putting off. Don't think this is a psychiatric hospital anymore. Usually employees don't need to crawl around in the air vents of a psychiatric hospital. Usually you don't get armed with a crowbar. Who? Huh? Okay, now we need a red key. These keys are actually looking more and more relevant. Uh... Right over there, I guess. Yeah, that's all I got going for me. Let's try... Oh! 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 Were you guys in the middle of some kind of kryptonite experiments or what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to find my way back to my post. You guys don't need to worry about me. Don't need to worry about me bashing your noses in with a crowbar. Here, here you go. This is for you. This is the second time this episode that I feel like I shouldn't be staring directly at something without some kind of testicle shield. I can feel all my sperm boiling inside my nuts. It's very strange. Got a whole bunch of buttons here that I've been pressing. I still have a strict press all buttons policy. Okay, good. I was going to say, please tell me one of them don't let you out. Whether you be pure radiation or an angry monster or Godzilla hemorrhoid. I don't really know. Is there anything going on up here? More buttons. I just said that I shouldn't press all the buttons, but I also have the policy, so we'll go ahead and press all of these. <gasps> Hope that we're not gonna nuke Belgium or something like that. I know what you're thinking, who nukes Belgium? Ho, 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 okay, um. Well, if it was gonna get out, I got it. I got it, okay, well, good, good. The buttons, the buttons were good, the buttons were good. <laughs> Won't have any problems with you. Sekver. Sekver. Not sure what that means still. Oh, why is this place big? I don't like this. What was with the weird monsters in the uh, sewers? Sewers, excuse me. Uh, monsters, sewers. Just trying to get to my post. Superman kryptonite, uh, Godzilla hemorrhoid. And any of this ringing any bells, folks? Anything. Oh, would you look at that? One of them got out. Well, we can't be having that. Don't worry, guys. I'll contain it. I'll contain it. I know what I'm doing. Stop squirming away from me. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Kind of surprised I could see them through the wall. Again, that, that can't be good for you. Your poor balls. What exactly is going on here? Huh. It's like the corrupted people are fighting one another. Okay, yeah, you guys fight it out. Don't care in the slightest. You do you, unless you got a red key, then I am not gonna be subscribing to that whole situation. Speaking of subscribing and having your nuts fall off, did you know that 60% of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed to this channel? I'm just saying, there's a possibility that if you don't subscribe, then you might lose something, so you might as well play it safe. While you guys go do that, I'm gonna figure out how to get into this room and press all these buttons. Oh, never mind. Just press that button there. Oh, okay, that was not the button I wanted to press. That was a mistake button, as I'm sure that guy just found out. You guys might want to look out. Just saying, those lasers hurt real bad. I don't have anything to fight the crabs with. Did you? No? Okay, was there anything in here to fight them with? Again, we got a whole bunch of buttons, but ooh, don't think so. I can't hit them with a microwave. I can't even pick up the dinner tray. I got nothing. That's a strong microwave. <laughs> I, I Maybe there's something in here? No. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Don't, don't shoot me, don't, don't. There we go, see you later, suckers. <laughs> Man, this is the worst day of work ever. 
Oh, normal people! No, no, you're not normal people! You wanna beat me up? Come on! Can I please go somewhere without someone trying to put the pointy end of a hammer into my face? Oh. Yeah, you know what? You had it coming, okay? You were the one who started it. You could have just twisted nuts with these wrenches rather than my nuts. Man, a whole lot of testicle jokes in this video, I'm telling you. I'm really on my A-game today. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I was freaking out there, sir. Thought, thought I heard shocky crabs next to me. You guys cool? Why is nobody cool? I just want to go back to work. There has to be a way out. There just, there has to be a red key. Someone must have a red key. Oh wait, have I been here? Looks like the kind of thing I would do. Hmm, still no red key though. Fortunately, everything seems to have a vent. What's the point of keys if you could just get on all fours and circumvent the entire security? They wonder how the patients and the monsters all escape. Let me guess, you guys are, yeah, you're gonna want some. Okay, well, don't worry, I got plenty to serve up. Whole bunch of buttons. These buttons never do anything. Who am I kidding? Another lovely microwave there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, appreciating that. Hello. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not having any of that. You guys are behind red doors. Can't get through red doors, so you don't matter. Oh. Freedom. We actually got there this time. Okay. Well, I would imagine there are going to be more levels to the series. So if there are at some point, then I can continue them if you guys want. But that's all. There's only two chapters of this right now. So I think we're going to move on to a level that just kind of stands out, but it's equally weird. Our next level is called Horror Map 2. What happened to Horror Map 1? I don't really know. Judging by the giant things floating in the sky outside this building, I would probably say probing. Can probing happen to a level that's... Probably a good bet. Uh, not really sure what's so horrific about a safe overflowing with money, but I'll help myself. <laughs> Don't mind me. This is a very strangely tan building. It's just kind of like oddly laid out or am I losing my mind? No, I don't think I'm losing my mind. Pretty sure I wouldn't want to poop there. Can you imagine you're just over here doing your business and like Everyone in the living room can hear you? Smell you? I'm pretty sure if they turn their head, they'd be able to see you? Yeah, that, that's not gonna be something that interests me. Oh yeah, good, it's just kitchen. Right within earshot of the dumper. Is this what's horrific about this place? Was the interior designer a monster? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, got food laid out. Interesting, and that looks like it's about it for this place. I'll take the gun. Yeah, you never never know when you're gonna need a gun. In case you wanna shoot all the frame rate that's disappearing. Okay, hello? That, uh, ooh. You okay? Hello? I don't think they're okay. Yeah, they don't look okay. What did the floor collapse with? <laughs> oh. No, they might have just eaten their own arms. Totally relatable, right? It happens to everyone. One minute you're craving a late night snack and stepping in a puddle that was previously someone. At least she's kind of attractive. <laughs> and then the next you find yourself eating your own meat. Yeah, it's a lot of people meat. What are you doing, buds? Other than the fact that you're Blade across the floor. Okay, yeah, listen, I got a gun. Probably shouldn't have gave me an AK-47 if you wanted to spook me, I'm just saying. What were you? Is it a gigolo? I'm, I'm, oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm like 95% sure this is a different dimly lit room with a meat fridge, so hopefully we can find some shootable spooks in here. Nope. Nope. Just... Instant death. Don't even know what killed me. I've played enough terrifying hellscapes in this game to know that this seems fishy, right? I found another AK-47 and a friend's house. Yeah, I'm sure he's not gonna die spontaneously. I'm gonna get jumped by something. Okay, he died. What am I getting jumped by? Oh, of course. <laughs> You're anything but unpredictable. Ow, ow, okay. I didn't predict you to shoot me square in the dick like that, but... I don't suppose you had anything good in here. Nope. 
Nope, nothing. Well then, isn't that endlessly disappointing? What about the fridge? Empty, great. Knock, knock. Is anyone home? This looks like a perfectly normal house. Whoa. I heard something. The light's kind of dim there, okay. No, no trick-or-treaters right now, okay? Especially because most of you are all dressed the same. The, the weird face paint and holy crap. Did a bus full of kids just roll up? Please tell me, huh? Oh, guns, guns are good, guns are... What part of no candy don't you understand? You got a couple jokers mixed in with a bunch of other losers dressed like zombies and, and now they're just gonna have a party in my house. You know what, maybe I'm not interested in all of the spookums. Maybe I'm just gonna run for it. I've been running for about two minutes now towards this door and it should lead me to different spookums. Great, so we've got slow zombies, excuse me. <laughs> Trying to find some non-spookums around here in a, a map that's called Horror Map 2. Probably not gonna be the case, but there's gotta be more. <gasps> no, I didn't mean more like that. I didn't mean more like that. The shadow monsters are freaking everywhere. I want a flashlight. I would give my life for a flashlight. Oh, I thought this was an actual drop. I was gonna say it was sarcasm. I don't actually wanna give my life. Friend? Friend? Yeah, having a rough day, are ya? Uh, trust me, oh, it's about to get a whole lot worse. <laughs> yeah, he's having a worse day as well. Uh, please, please, no, no, do not want. Run, run, just keep running. You know what? I don't need to fight people. Me and my AK are just gonna run off into the sunset and the crowd full of faceless people with axes. Is that a UFO? I think that was a UFO. Uh, that is a straight up UFO. What am I hearing right now? Something crawling around beside me. Oh, it's probably you guys. You can't get through here, right? Are we good? I think we're, we're good. Okay, you guys just hang out. I'm gonna admire the fact that there is a UFO in Paint the Town Red. That is kind of amazing. Never seen anything like that before. Also, people hanging in cages. That's what I'm hearing. The cage smushing. I knew you weren't just trees. They, they, they make it seem like it's trees, but no, it's actually ninjas and aliens. Always with the ninjas and the aliens. Fortunately, ninjas are not great against bullets. Bullets are a little bit out of their time. <laughs> Stupid trees, I was onto you the whole time. Look at that. Easy, ow, 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 okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm trying to admire the for craftsmanship behind these UFOs. <gasps> There's like weird little bubbles, like planets. Pouring out of it? Strange. Can I get closer? I want to see if I can get abducted. I'm not into getting probed, but I mean, it's the first time for everything. I don't think this is the right direction to the UFO. I just kind of fell in a hole and now I'm, I'm looking at an enemy. An enemy that doesn't care about bullets. Okay, uh, maybe these bullets would help you? I was gonna shoot you in the chin and make that a pro gamer move, but instead you bitch slapped me. Okay, I think we're done. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. Some very big, very ambitious levels this episode and stuff that you guys recommended. So it's like I said, it's the reason that I keep returning. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment with some recommendations, that kind of stuff, and I'll return to get slapped into oblivion again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.